Close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. And if your attention begins to wander, just bring it right back. Wanders again, bring it right back. Show it that you mean business. You want to give your full heart to this, all your attention. The quality the Buddha calls awareness entirely focused, the entire awareness focused. Because a lot of things are going on right now in the present moment, and if you're only giving it half an eye, you're going to see only a few things that are happening, usually the usual things you usually notice. But remember, the Buddha found awakening right here. He found all kinds of good things in the mind right here by looking very carefully. So look carefully. There are a lot of potentials here. Potentials for good, potentials for bad. We have to sort them out. That's what discernment is all about. Realizing what's skillful in the mind, what's not skillful in the mind. And then acting on that knowledge that you don't want to let unskillful things take over. You're not simply watching things arise and pass away and say, oh, isn't that interesting? Things arise and pass away. You want to get good things to arise and to stay. Unskillful things, you want to prevent them from arising. If they do come up, you want to get rid of them. There's work to be done, but it's good work, because you're straightening out the source of all your happiness and pain, which is the mind, so that it creates more and more happiness. The happiness you create from within then gets spread out to other people. So it's good all around. So pay careful attention right here, because there's a lot going on. There are many, many layers in the mind, and so you want to see them clearly. Because sometimes what looks like a good intention may not be so good if you look at it carefully. And as it turns out, there are some unskillful intentions that actually have skillful uses. The Buddha talks about how when someone does something that's really offensive, and you just can't bring yourself to have goodwill for that person, then simply remind yourself, if I act on my anger, I'm going to do stupid things, and that's going to please the other person. Do I want to please that person right now? No. So you're using an unskillful emotion, spite, to overcome something that's even more unskillful. So look carefully at the mind. There are many layers in here. And as you get to know them, then you get more and more in control, and you don't get fooled by your own mind. The way other people fool us is bad enough, but the way we fool ourselves, that's what makes us suffer. After all, we all want happiness, and yet we keep doing things that cause suffering. Why is that? Because of our ignorance. Why are we ignorant? Because we allow ourselves to be fooled. We don't look carefully. We don't give our full attention to what we're doing. So if we want happiness in the new year, this is where we look, right at what we're doing right now, what's going on in the mind right now, and learning how to navigate it well. 